you know, I just we started with a topic uh, yesterday. We said cultivating favor and, and goodwill. We're just looking at uh, the verse of scripture, Daniel chapter 1, verse 9. And it has those two things that God did for Daniel. And we are trying to follow in Daniel's stead. If God can do it for Daniel, and God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, then if God did it for Daniel, we can learn what Daniel did to be able to make God do it for him. Then we too can receive the same thing that Daniel received. So that's why we use the word cultivating it. We see a picture of God bringing someone into a place of favor and goodwill. And the Bible says that scriptures are given to us as an example, right? So we can take Daniel's example and walk in the same thing that Daniel walked in. God, Daniel walked in the place of favor and goodwill. And it's something we need. It's something we want for our lives, right? Because we want it and God wants to give it. We will see a, a pattern from Daniel which we can copy so that we too can walk in favor and goodwill for our lives, right? And that's what the whole verse is about. And that's all we're about, is cultivating that which is available in God for us, right? And to read the verse again, it says, now God had brought Daniel into favor and goodwill of a chief of the eunuchs. Right? That's from the New King James Version. We started yesterday and we defined what favor is. And we said favor is that which is received either directly from God or indirectly from God. Right? When we receive it indirectly from God, or we're receiving it from someone who is standing in a place representing God. God is using someone to give it to us. Right? So God is, that person is standing in the stead of God. Right, and it, give, it comes to, to us to work for us or not. It, it gives us advantage. It gives us preferential treatment. It, it differentiates us, it marks us out. It, 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 it gives a redemption for us. Don't forget the word redemption also means to mark out, right? To separate for good things, right? And we'll take our writing scripture there from James chapter one, verse 17 apart from all the other scriptures we share. Today, we just want to look at the other part of, of that verse, which says, but God did not just give him favor. He gave him what we call goodwill. What is goodwill, right? Goodwill in, in English dictionary simply is a friendly or helpful attitude, right? Towards other people, country, organization, right? So the word goodwill is something that is, a, is an attitude per se. It's a disposition. Right, it's a disposition to do good. A disposition to do good. Favor is that which is given. Goodwill is from is that source from which favor comes. Right? Don't forget in defining favor yesterday. We said favor is that which comes from goodwill. Now, goodwill is the source of favor. Favor is that which we obtain, right, from a place of goodwill. Right, the word good we say again is, 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 is defined by God, so we can use the word good means God will, it's, 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 a, it's a place of God willingness. Anything that comes from goodwill is, 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 is something that comes from God, it is not something that comes from God, there is no goodwill because goodwill is God will, it's, it's a place from which proceeds all that God wants to give to us. Right, it's, it's, it's what you might call the bosom of God, right? Because good is the word God. God is good. God defines the word good. So goodwill is a place where all that God wants to give to us proceeds and flows from, right? So tomorrow we'll look at, we'll continue from there tomorrow. My time is up. Um, so goodwill is simply a place, a source from which favor flows. Favor is what we want. Favor comes from goodwill or Godwill, right? And we'll continue tomorrow.